on the scene, dripped in Celine, whole crew shining, call me Mr. Clean, came in from the back, walk right to the front, dancing to the music, smoking on the got the women smiling, punk grilling me, looking all dusty, black force energy, I don't even drink, but the team pop bottles, not here for the beef, but the Glock holes hollows, think I'm cocky, but I think I'm worse, in this flexing, like a Mr. Universe. The last topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Shakur and Vasily Lomachenko exchange words on Twitter. We'll take a look at the exchange and then we'll discuss it. So, on Twitter, Shakur Stevenson. Yo, what happened? Yo, Trill looks like one of the, the, the characters from that. The, remember when Def Jam had a fighting game? <laughs> yeah, he do. He do. He do. He do. He look like Def Jam from fighting. Def Jam. Oh, from man. Man. It's crazy. Oh. Are y'all ready? Yeah, All right, let's yeah. get into it. So, this is uh, their exchange. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, tech, uh, he tweeted Vasily Lomachenko, yo, Vasily Lomachenko, nothing but respect, champ. You deserve them belts. I hope you healed up and everything is all good with you. I think it's time for a real high skill level chess. I'm ready for a big, a big fight, champ. Let's make something happen. So that's what he stated on Twitter. So to that, Vasily Lomachenko responded, at Shakur Stevenson, thank you. I am okay, but I'm sorry I have unfinished business with at Real Devin Haney. To which Shakur responded, I understand, champ, but if he ducks you like he's ducking me, it only makes sense for us to get it in. So that's what he said. All right. So... That was the exchange. Oh, it's like this. All right. I'm going to turn it over to Ned TBE, who finally joined the cast. Uh, what was what's your reaction to that? Nobody wants smoke with Shakur. That's all I'm saying. Like, see, you hear Loma saying he got unfinished business. He don't want to fight Shakur. He don't want to fight Loma. He don't want to run it back with Loma. We all saw what happened that first fight. It was controversial. Some will say, yeah, Haney won. I still feel Haney lost. But you know, Loma's still chasing that 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 sunset. And um he ain't he ain't trying to go, he ain't trying to take another L in that he's not trying to take another loss in that L column. But you know, Shakur, at this point, you gotta go after the, the top dog. Loma, Loma, Loma ain't the one you should be chasing. Y'all both chasing Haney, Haney ducking both of y'all. But I don't see Shakur and Loma happening in this exchange. It seemed it kind of seemed like a setup. They both in the same camp. Their publicist was like, yo, let's put the post this, you post that. And you know, they probably got the same publicist at this point, yo. You know, they both with ESPN top rank. And with, with the light, uh, I, uh, this is a conspiracy G. This is a conspiracy G or conspiracy TVE. <laughs> ESPN done laid off a lot of people just now, like so. You know they probably like short on staff, and then somebody in the um the the writers' room was like, "Yeah, this would be good for good for like entertainment and media and everything." So who knows? This seems like a gimmick to me. I don't really think they want to go back and forth. But if they do set up, if they can set up a fight, this would be entertaining. But I don't think this fight will happen since they all want the big fish. All right, G. I mean. Which, I mean, the only thing about Shakur just seems like he's riding Loma too much, man. Like, I don't <laughs> know, man. It's like, I feel like. like no pause? Sucking, sucking no up. pause? No pause? Oh, man. You could nope. pause whatever. No pause. Whatever. The truth is, it's like. Hey, pause him if you want to pause him, Ned. You do that. I mean, you don't ask him if he's going to pause himself. You got to be the one to do it. All I know is. Pause, G. Pause. Whatever. All I know is this. That when he talks to Loma, it's like he praising this dude. Like, like he gives him too much respect. I'm like, how you want you want to fight the guy by buttering him up? Like, that's, that's weird, yo. Just be like, yo. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? right now, nah, dog, Shakur is different, bro. Like, 
it's just weird, yo. Like, that's the only thing I just don't like about the exchange, dude. Like, I almost to the point where I kind of could entertain what TV is saying. Yo, this this might just be like, a, like uh, they have the same publicist, and they're like, yo, let's build up some controversy. Let's just, but they're trying to be polite at the same time. Like, I'm going to be respectful, but I'm going to come at both of y'all. Like, man, it's just weird, man. It's just, I don't know, it seems mad cheesy. And the fact that Loma's like, I got unfinished business with Devin Haney. Bro, if Bob Aram ain't giving Devin a bag to fight you again that rematch, bro, you are bugging, you know? So, and that's just the truth, man. It ain't got nothing to do with ducking. And that's the thing that I don't like about Shakur. It's like, why would you say that this dude's ducking him when he's the one that's been pushing for the fight? You know what I'm saying? And so now that he won and now he's moving on to greater pastures, whatever, you're like, Yo, oh, he doesn't want to rematch. Oh, he's ducking. He's ducking. Like, nah, stop it, bro. Like, I don't know. I just don't like the way these dudes be talking to each other, man. It's like, it just seems so fake, yo. But yeah, that's my issue. All right, TV, you get in there. I just got a question. I thought, like, if there was undisputed at the division below, like, what Shakur was, doesn't he have, like, the right to. Shakur wasn't right? undisputed. He wasn't undisputed? No. He was unified. You're right. He was unified. But that should still give him like pathway to like the champ, you know. But you know, it is what it is. He does. He's he's up there. He's he's up there in terms of like one of the mandatory challenges, but um, this time's not yet. Your time will come, Shakur. The Loma's time has passed. Yeah, I think I think, yeah, he was gonna be the mandatory, and then they made Loma the mandatory again after the fight with Devin. All right, Dollar Bill. Um yeah, what's your reaction to that exchange? Um, Shakur Stevens has been uh, been really active with the Twitter. He's going <laughs> to fight so bad. I feel like his phone bill is due, and he don't got the <laughs> like. You know what I'm saying? He's about, hey, he want to fight. He want to fight everybody. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I'm saying? You think you're number one. You think you're the best. But how you've been talking? You've been you've been going. It's been crazy. Now you. you you don't rub tank the wrong way, and <laughs> not for real, bro. He rub tank the wrong way. Tank want to hem him up when he see him. You know, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw what Tank said about him. Yeah, tank the wrong way, Tank thinking that we were cool. Now you're dis- yeah, Tank's like, don't talk trash about me and come take a picture with me. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. you're doing it to Devin, and you and Devin supposed to be cool. The way that you're talking to Devin and Tank is 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 how you should have been. Well, how you talk to. It's how you talk to Loma. It's how you should have been talking to Devin and Tate. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, that's how I feel. In the same way that you, you're talking to Loma, it's how you should have talked to those guys. Um, I know I get it. You're frustrated. You want to fight. You want to prove that you're that guy. But be careful what you ask for because when it happens, you know, Loma is, is not no slouch. Devin is not no slouch. And Styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? Um, and definitely Tank ain't no slouch. You know what I'm saying? So be, be careful what you ask for because you might just get it. Won't you just, you know, work on your power, sitting down on some shots before you, you know, call out these guys and stuff like that. But I, I'm not mad at you for calling out these guys. Let me just get that right. It's just how you're going about it and everything. But, but I'm not mad at the whole uh, Loma thing. I think that that fight is most likely going to happen before either of these guys get another chance at Devin Haney. Haney is moving on. Okay, the greener pastures. He's going over there with Eddie Hearn and DeZone, and they're going to go and take Regis' belt, and they're going to go and make that happen and make some money over there, and then probably go try to fight Taylor or Catterall or somebody over there. They're doing a 140 business. So I see Bob maybe setting up a showcase fight maybe with uh, if George Campbell can get past his next opponent. Maybe Shakur can go in there with George Campbell's. And, or, uh, and Loma could get in there with George, or Loma get in there with somebody else to probably set up that fight. Because I could see that that fight happening more realistically than Loma getting Devin or Shakur getting Devin. I see this happening because y'all got the same promoter, you know, on the same side of the street. And, you know, y'all can make this something big. Just set up a fight in between. Like, Loma fight somebody, you set somebody, and then y'all, why do y'all get it? And y'all can make something happen. So I think that that fight can happen. Before y'all keep calling out Devin, because I think Devin's done with 135. I really do. And I think that he wants to go and snatch that belt and some cash from the zone and Regis program. 
a lot of things are interesting about this tweet. Like, one, but if he ducks you, like he's ducking me. So, Shakur, let's just say Devin picked you. Does that mean he's ducking Loma? See, this is what happens when you get to the duck ducks and all this ducking. Everybody's ducking someone. Nobody, every fight, every time someone picks a fight, someone's ducking. Jamal, I mean, Jamel Charlo picks Canelo to fight. And then Tim Tazu comes out, oh, he's ducking me. What'd you say, Tim? You're saying he's duck. He's fighting Canelo. He's moving up two weight classes to fight Canelo. Another undisputed champion for the biggest payday in boxing that no one would turn down. Well, no sane person would turn down, but Dimitri Baval did turn it down, kind of. So, I mean, yeah. But hey, anyways, that most people wouldn't turn down, right? And you say he's ducking you. Like, this is what happens in sport of boxing now. Now everybody's a duck. This is crazy. Everyone's a duck now. Here's the other thing you guys pointed out, and I was kind of touching on it in the last segment, too. Look at how Shakur calls out Vasily in comparison to how he calls out Tank and how he calls out Devin Haney. See, this is a part of that fan base thing and what happens. He knows that if he calls out Devin a certain way, there's a certain people, there's a certain base that hates Devin. There's a certain base that's going to get all hot and bothered by it, right? And they're going to get all excited by it. And they're going to oh, he called out Devin. Devin the punk pillow fish didn't want no smoke with Shakur. He also knows if he calls out Tank a certain way, there's going to be a part, uh, there's going to be a group of people who are going to be like, oh, Tank, he Tank don't want no smoke with him, blah, blah, blah. Because that's the way you call out Devin. And that's the way you call out Tank, right? But Vasily, champ, sir, champ, how about if you can, you consider having a fight with little old me, Shakur. And that's where I got beef. If you were doing that across the board and you're doing that across the board, well, you're not. Because you know that if you come out talking that smack with Devin, people are going to put the pressure on Devin. Public, the public, the Devin haters. You know if you come out and you talk that smack to Tank, people going to put the pressure on Tank. But you know if you come out and you talk that smack to Vasily Lomachenko, there's a whole group of Vasily Lomachenko lovers who are going to come and bring that smoke to you. So what did you do? Oh, good champs. Good sir, champ. And that's why people got issues sometimes. Like, I like Shakur. I think Shakur is a talented fighter. But you got to keep that same energy with everyone. If you challenging everybody a certain way, if it's Devin, don't duck me, whatever, don't duck me, you should you should have been tweeting this. WBC, I want my mandatory slot back. Vasily never beat me. Vasily beat Devin. He ain't beat me. Give me my spot back or have Vasily fight me for it. Don't give him my spot like you gave him franchise. Make him earn something. That's what he should be tweeting. It's not that I, and if you watch this channel, you already know that I got love and respect for Vasily. But my point is, you can't be switching the energy up. And I'm also keeping it a buck fifty because you know that's what I do. That's what I do. I don't think Vasily Duck Devin. I pointed out all the reasons why, but he did get a boost with the franchise championship so that he could fight Teofimo Lopez. He did get the fight with Devin, although he never gave Devin the fight. And Devin got the close decision, and he did win, and, and Vasily did win in the court of public opinion. And he won on my scorecard too, so I'm not saying that he didn't deserve that. But where he did get something that probably wasn't fair was he lost to Devin, and he had a shot to get Devin's belts, and Instead of keeping Shakur Stevenson as the mandatory, the WBC made Vasily the mandatory again. What does the judge's decision have to do with Shakur? So Shakur, if you got beef with Tank and you got beef with Devin, you need to have beef with Vasily. Oh, you okay with Vasily replacing you, though? Oh, champ, champ, champ. Devin's the champ? Like, no, for real, Devin's the champ. You ain't never called him champ one time. Oh, I get it. You were calling him champ because you said he should have those belts. Well, it, maybe his strategy is to kiss up to uh, Vasily Lomachenko and then maybe Vasily will 
be willing to give him the fight. Maybe he's trying to maybe maybe he's playing the Amy Ruiz uh Anthony Joshua one strategy. Maybe he's playing that, you know, perhaps I'll be nice and, and, and see what that gives me strategy. But at the end of the day, I think it's a bad look for you for you, Shakur, because people are looking for you to keep that same energy. And the fact that you keep you got one energy for Tank, one energy for Devin, and you go out for silly differently, people are gonna start asking why and start connecting their own dots. And this is boxing. You know what people go first. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. That's G, that's Caden, that's the TVE. I'm the commissioner, a.k.a. Trill Dollar Bill. And I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. But before I go, I was just talking to the guys before we even started, right? And I was like, yo, I wanted to thank you guys, the Boston Bros community, from the bottom of my heart, for going out the way and checking out my new single, In My Soul. You know, that's out now on YouTube. It's exclusively out on YouTube. Please go check it. Um, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Well, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys so much, man. It's the Boxing Bros.